Good morning. We're so glad you're here. We daily vlog, so if you enjoyed today's video, make sure you come back every day. It snowed a lot, and it's still snowing, and it's 5.30 in the morning, and Sarah and I actually got up and read, and Eve is very confused. <laughs> Sarah's about to begin her yoga that she's going to do in the morning. It's... I used to do yoga all the time, but it feels really intimidating. <laughs> And since it's snowing, we're gonna figure out the gym later, and I'm gonna go spill, still be responsible. It's my early morning time, and I'm gonna go clean a bunch of bottles. What is all that? We did it. We woke up early. I've been awake <laughs> for over three hours. It's been a while since you were uh, awake this early. Usually it's like you've been averaging like between eight and nine. Eight and nine. Peter and I read. I did yoga. I've already edited the vlog mostly. Like I just have to do the like. The little intro um, animation and put the date on there. Wow, I am, but now I am feeling tired. But James just woke up. He slept great. He's like, we we didn't even we didn't even like talk about it because I feel like we were both holding our breath. He's so dark, isn't he? This is his favorite no face. Yeah. You're right. So I've been meaning to make this coconut tomato lentil soup forever that I saw on Instagram. I will link the recipe below. It's going to be nice just to have for little lunch kicks. I made it this morning and now we're all going to have a bowl. This is a fitting cookie for you. Look at my busted nail. <laughs> was the soup a hit? Yeah, I'm about to have that for dinner. I'm about to make Swedish meatballs for dinner. Plant-based just mm. for you. Plant-based for everyone. Um, it's still snowing. Look at this cozy guy. Yeah, because it's a blizzard out. There's like snow days dropping left and right for the schools and stuff. Really? Mm -hmm. Wow, that's so cool. Yeah, I, I don't know. You work in Florida. I'm gonna check right now. <laughs> I'm gonna check right now and see how many more hours. Snow through 7 p.m. Four more hours. They did shovel. And there's some trash out there. From a Zaxby's. I didn't even know there was a Zaxby's here. So, Jamesy is down for a nap. It was a struggle. I don't know. I think he's just like... He doesn't want to miss out, um, but it was one of those instances where, like, once, like, he fought and fought and fought, and then, like, when we fell, like, we both fell asleep, like, we were just, like, exhausted from, like, the battle. Um, I slept with him for, like, an hour, but he typically only sleeps, like, naps an hour and a half to two hours, and we're right around that time, but I don't know, he also might be, like, exhausted, um, so yeah, we'll see how that goes. I'm just thankful he finally gave in. And I'm gonna make these meatballs. And the first step is soaking bread in milk. So I'm using a non-plant-based recipe. So that is what I'll link below. Um, but I just happen to have like everything with a substitute. So I'm gonna be using oat milk instead of normal milk and impossible meat instead of beef. I think they're beef. Um, we have vegan butter, the whole nine yards. So it's up to you, whatever you want to use. If you're, um, if you're interested in following along, my sous chef has arrived. Jamesy's been a shoe thief, so that's why my single shoe is here. 
and comfy. I don't even know if I'll keep this in or not. Um, we have used up all of our oat milk. We have soy milk and almond milk, but it all has like a sweetness to it and I need oat milk because it has like more savory flavor. So, meatballs are on hold until we get some more oat milk. Oh. And look who just woke up. It was a decent nap. Yeah. It was funny, like, everything all of a sudden, everything changed. I accidentally used all the oat milk. No, so. you didn't. Like, it's, there wasn't a rule that said that you couldn't use it. It just, I didn't make the, the meatballs timely enough. But yeah, everything I thought that would be in the next hour has changed. <sighs> Look at your curly cute head. We're still big fans of Encanto over here. And look at what Jamesy got brought back for him from Christina and the kids from their trip to Disney. Look how stinking cute he is. Get him, James. He loves playing with those. We're decorating for Valentine's Day because we're kind of behind. We should have done this two, three days ago. Yeah, true, it's only the second. Um, but this is like where we're at. Like, we don't have a whole lot of Valentine's decorations, but I feel like you don't need a whole lot of Valentine's decorations. I brought all these festive towels into the kitchen. Um, we actually even had less Valentine's Day decorations before, but when we went through my parents' house, me and my sisters all split my mom's like holiday decorations, and that was truly like something that was like I know everyone decorates for holidays but like she truly made everything so special and so every new holiday box we open is kind of like I forgot what I took and it's you know obviously emotional but also exciting to have little pieces of my mom around everywhere so now that we have a change of plans for dinner we're actually going to eat more of the like lentil soup I did not think Peter was going to be into it because of it being like tomatoey, but he's not running a lot tonight and it actually ended up being like more water and coconut milk than I realized so it wasn't like super super tomatoey so and he really liked it so we're going to eat that I'm going to make some potatoes and a salad so I'm going to put this ginger dressing on the potatoes along with probably just some like salt and pepper. I love anything like soy sauce, lime, ginger, but when I opened this bottle, I didn't realize like how chunky it was and that's like, I'm not crazy about that on this on a salad. So I've been saving it for, for something else and I think this will be great. And then I made a simple salad, like typical to what I, I make with like oil, vinegar, salt, pepper, garlic, oregano. But instead of vinegar, I used um, the juice from the banana pepper, so it's a little bit spicy. And I didn't do an onion, just tomato, romaine, heart, lettuce, like one heart, and banana peppers on top. Here's our final dinner. I put my potatoes on the side, so there's like a little mixy mix. Peter's chosen to put it over potatoes, so that's a nice idea. Does that look good? <laughs> what did he do to you? Yes. <laughs> 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 you got a big belly like mommy? You so full from dinner? <laughs> Chicago snow, am I right? It actually isn't that bad. Well, let me show you up here. Here's the fun thing. Is like, here's the road. It has not been plowed because, like, the big plows just, I don't think they come down these residential streets. So, 
but one, luckily I don't have to go to an office and drive into, we have a parking spot, so our, our parking lot was actually plowed. We're watching this Rise Up Sing Out show. So it's all music and it just covers a lot of different topics. That's easy for kids to consume and to learn from. So that was a song about pronouncing each other's names correctly and being proud of what our names are. And yeah, it's really cute. So this one, Let Love Overrule, Terrell and Kingston sing about kindness towards all. It may be February. And a lot of people, I, I, I consider like October the beginning of like winter in Chicago, but this is what Chicago looks like in winter. It's one of the busier streets, so this has been plowed, plus people have been driving through it. Um, and the sidewalks, a little bit more taken care of, but there's not like citywide sidewalk stuff over here. Like there is on Michigan Avenue and some other streets, there's actually heated sidewalks. Um, but this is just like, this is plowed because the management company of this building. So, but it has stopped snowing finally. It stopped like two hours ago. This is the outfit. Mask for warmth, pajama pants and moccasins, carrying the gym shoes. I got my running shorts on underneath these. Heading on over to Planet Fitness. Just doing a quick three miles tonight. Um, I gotta go, do the three miles and get back and get clean up to put James to bed. Um, so like, I think I'm doing four, three, four in my in-week runs this week. I might do a four, three, five. I still have to find a new training block for like whatever. I mean, technically my next race is a Shamrock Shuffle, AK, running off my brother. But I need to like find a new half marathon because I need a new proof of time for Disney. Look at this, Roz. We vax cards and IDs, please. Shut up, Marsh. So this is pretty cool. We have been turning the TV off like an hour before bedtime, and that has really helped just like James wind down better. I think you guys have been able to tell, like, we've been pretty lax with our schedule just overall with James um, ever since he was a newborn because we are people who aren't always in the same place at the same time. And so we've kind of, like, embraced the rough schedule life. Um, but now that we're kind of, like, at home and in this routine, like, we're just finding certain things really work for us and turning the TV off like an hour before nap time, an hour before bedtime, um, at a minimum has worked out great. Again, we are not, we are not sleep pros whatsoever. <laughs> um, James has always slept great overnight. His napping has always been something that we just kind of have gone with the flow with. James is somebody who needs like he initially nursed to sleep and then he had a bottle to sleep and now he's like he's finishing his bottle before he falls asleep so we're kind of in this like new world of trying to figure out like what does sleep necessarily look like for him um and we're just rolling with the punches so i realized that we had not tried coloring since he's been like his new like toddler self um, and he got super excited when I brought it out and he's been like two crayons, like one crayon in each hand. Um, so this is like a fun discovery for me. I love to color, so I'm excited that this could potentially be like a new part of our day. See you, Ross. Oh, that was a hot one. That was, uh... Oh, they keep it hotter in there, I think, than Orange Theory. I think I see the thermostat said Orange Theory. I think they have it set at like 60 or 61. Um, but I was sweating pretty good in there. Nice three miles, quick 5K. Um, gonna stop at Jewel on the way home, but feel good. Goal is to go out and run in the morning. That's one of the main reasons why we're getting up early these days. I mean, we're one day in, but still. Uh, but this threw me off this morning because it was coming down still. So hopefully it stays away tonight 
and I can come back to Planet Fitness in the morning. That is Chicago. That's all from this small parking lot. That's it. This is not a big parking lot in the front, and that's what was crazy. That's how much snow came down in the last day. But I have to be honest, we we were pretty good compared to the further people south and further people east. So I'm grateful. All right, it was just a quick, quick trip to do. I'm almost done, but I got some bread, some kombucha, some oat milk, and I'm supposed to pick up some Valentine's Day candy. But it looks like the candy aisle is the way to go and not the seasonal aisle just yet. Ew, Mickey Mouse. All right, so I'm all freshened up back from the store. Put James down, and I have to thank Sarah greatly because he went down pretty easily. And I have to say, it's because of all the cuddle times and calm times and book reading that Sarah was doing beforehand. I have not had a put down like that in a while, but I'm happy. You will soon. What? You will soon. Maybe he just likes to goof with me. Maybe, maybe. He was being weird tonight. He wasn't making any noises, but he was goofing. Like, he would just look at me and then, like, drop and then get up and like, push my face with his hand and not say anything the whole time. This is great cream. I'll show you it. Do your hand, yeah, it, act, act like you're an influencer. It's a manual focus. Is it really? <laughs> oh my God. This is what I've used. Influencer, influencer, influencer. <laughs> Influencer. And my hands. Sponsored. Like I still needed it. Affiliate everything, links. But my hands are no longer burning. It's macadamia oil. You got some mad backlight going on. It's like a mood. Mm. Anyway, I'm gonna roll out at least my one leg because it's doing that weird pain thing again. And then we're gonna go to bed because we're gonna get up at 4:30 again tomorrow. Peter got some Valentine's Day candy. And me some chocolates. I told him this year for Valentine's Day, like I literally just want like a ton of chocolate. <laughs> like a five pound Hershey bar? Like I got you that one year? At the yeah. old Hershey store that's well, no longer I, there. Yeah. I had to have my dad drive me downtown because <laughs> I don't have a license. Yeah. All the way to the Michigan Avenue of Hershey store that no longer exists mm -hmm. by Hershey. Five pound. And I ate burgers. that whole thing really <laughs> over like uh, it. Thank you. I kept it in, too much. I kept it in the freezer and like would like chisel. <laughs> Good times. Been thinking about something recently. What? A lot. Oh, I know what you're gonna say. <laughs> November. <laughs> it still exists. Mm -hmm. um, I want to bring it back, but I want to bring it back right and I have a good time. So I also want to see if we can find a different one. Yeah, I also know Sugar Boo does like just cards where you can just like pick a card every day. Maybe that's easier with like. The yeah. setup of our life currently in the kitchen. Yeah. That notification means James may have moved. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.